we're going to take a look at um, Google presentations and to start with uh, you have to log on to your Gmail account and you click on documents once you have your documents uh, you go to the create button and select presentation They'll ask you to uh, select a theme. You can choose one of theirs, or you can go with a blank theme or change the color background later. I'm just going to select the theme here. Uh, the basic layout is you have the slides over on this side. You have toolbars up here. That's all your font stuff. And then uh, you have these, which are text box. Um, just fill in. To add another slide, you go over to this red. This will do a new slide, which will be a basic layout, or you can choose the layout in here. Uh, they'll give you different options. We'll start off by just clicking the plus. This will give you your basic slide. If I add my title up here. Um, every time you see a text box like this, you can fill it in. Another option you could go is a title in two columns which looks like this. Um, you can also add a blank screen and a blank. You have in this option you can create text boxes by uh, point at this side and then do your right in here. You can also do with a blank one where you have a picture. One of the neat things about pictures is that you can drag and drop so so you can go here. You're gonna have a folder that's called Google Presentation so you go to that folder come over here you can just grab the picture that you want drop it onto the file it'll be It'll show up. You can increase the size, add a text box to it. You can change the font size by selecting it and then going to the font size. You can uh, underline it if you want to or change the color. You can add shapes by going to the shape area. Clicking on it will give you different shapes that you can put on here. Callouts are pretty fun to put on there. Then you can Change the color of the shapes by clicking on them and then selecting the fill color. You can also add videos to this which are it's pretty interesting. You can go and you can search YouTube. choose one, select it. It'll automatically put the player in here. Add a text.
Xbox to it. Again, you can change the size. Oops. Resize the video too. Lastly, we're going to show you how to animate a slide. You can start with, start with a blank slide. You can animate objects. First, I'm going to choose a shape or a picture. Let's say a lightning bolt. I'm going to put it right there. Now, you can animate it by clicking the object and then going up to Insert and Animation. And then from Animation, you can choose what you want it to do. If you want it to fly in, uh, you can do it on the click or you can do it after the previous which is after it opens it up which is, I'm going to do this automatically so I'll select after this and I'll also choose the si uh, the speed and then we'll play it it will do this automatically and then this can also be done with text so you can form a text box select it and then you go to insert animation you could do it so if it's on the click you could do it to let's say uh, spin so when you click it it would spin You can move the slides by coming over to this side if you want to reorder it, clicking on the slide and then moving up to a location. And you click it and what that will do is it will change the order of the slides. You can change them around again if you want until you get the order that you like. Another important function of Google Docs is the share functionality. If you hover over it, it'll give you what the access is. By clicking on it, you will get the sharing settings. You can change the access from private to public or anywhere in between by clicking over here and then saving it. Uh, right now it has your my name on it and it's because I'm the owner of it. If you want to change owner, you can click on here and it'll change the owner. Uh, the other uh, you can also share it with specific people where you can send them, put them on there and uh, you will receive theirs and you can share and save with them. You can also change what their accessibility is where they can edit the project or they can view it for collab collaborative um, projects. You can also have it sent so uh, it'll send emails to you every time that there's a change. Remember to always title your presentation. Just double click on it, it'll give you your name. And when you've named it, click OK. The last thing you want to do, of course, is uh, view the presentation. So you just click Start Presentation. You can move it down here. video automatically loads for you. The animations. Animation text.
So I want to thank you for watching this video and uh, hopefully this will help you use Google presentations.